we train you on this step-by-step -step process. I'm not surprised because we follow due process. Our method works. But if once you sell those today, tomorrow, send the document. That's how, after you send the money now, you'll be calling two years. They've not answered your call again. How are you? <laughs> how are you doing today? Welcome to my session. So with you here is Dr. Linda Iheme. Oh, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure you are doing fine. But I just have to check in, right? I don't need to assume that you're fine. How are you? Well, today I want to do some question and answer. It's been a long time I did something like this. But I want to do question and answer because sometimes there are people who just um they start following me uh but they've not heard my voice they've not seen me come like <laughs> they've not seen me come like i just want to welcome you if you fall into that category and for the people that are always here with me <laughs> by the way just to give you a little bit of context right my name is dr linda iheme i'm an educational consultant with vantage migration all right, that's uh, this is Vantage Migration. Let me do it this way for you so that you can see very well. I'm an educational consultant with Vantage Migration. Okay, yes, myself and my team we train graduates and professionals like you exactly what to do for them to be able to relocate abroad to the study abroad route <laughs> that's what we do and see we actually do a lot of community services like uh we send people abroad for free so far uh, over 15 persons have benefited from all expenses <laughs> all expenses travel abroad to get especially for first time travelers uh-huh yeah and um uh, we do other things like uh answer your question right answer we do a lot of information sharing that, that's let me, see, let me put it this way that is my forte <laughs> that is my forte when it comes to information sharing bring it on bring it on i am confident that any study abroad question you have i'll be able to answer it all all any at all from anywhere you know why i mentioned what we do earlier I mentioned it so that you also know the scope of our expertise. So, specifically, we handle education migration only. Meaning, we handle uh, relocation for people that want to travel abroad through the study abroad route. What does this mean? If you are going through any other route, you are looking for wife to marry you so that they will not bring you some papers for you. You are looking for a broad husband to marry you so that he will bring you over. We do not handle that. Okay? Um, how can my child who is two years old come to Canada all by themselves? We do not handle that. Specifically, we handle anyone who is already a university graduate. So for you to work with us, you have to be a university graduate. You can be a professional, you can be 45 years old, you can be 50 years old, you can be 30 years old, you can be 25 years old. The criteria is that you have to be a professional, uh, like, sorry, you have to be a graduate, you have to be able to speak and hear English, right? And you want to relocate abroad through the study abroad route. Woo, there we are for you, all right? That's exactly what we do. So... For example, if you say, mm, please, oh, there's this thing that they just uh, brought out now. How can tech people relocate abroad through the one tech visa? We do not handle that. But do you get what I mean? Oh, we do not handle that. But one thing I can bet for sure is that if you want to relocate abroad right now, study abroad is the fastest easiest and surest way to relocate abroad right now hello did you hear what i said you may have questions about oh this visa oh this one can my grandparents bring me over can my neighbor submit for me can my child go all there all by themselves two year old discipline all those questions they are, they are they are important questions but i want you to know that we specifically focus on what Hello, say to yourself. We specifically focus on 
education migration. And I said that irrespective of how you think you want to relocate abroad right now, study abroad is the fastest, the easiest, and the surest way to relocate abroad right now. That's the, that, that is a global truth. Not because I'm saying it, but because that is what is happening. So, you hearing the information, count yourself blessed. Alright? So, let's go over to the questions. I just said that because... Because when I see questions that are going to derail us out of what we are discussing, I'm just going to be like, oh, skip, 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 skip. That's how I'll be skipping your question. <laughs> but if you, if you have a study abroad question, travel abroad, through study abroad, education, migration, blah, blah, shoot, 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 shoot me, shoot me. Woo! Just shoot me, okay? I'm going to be able to take it. Again, before I start, this is like a disclaimer. Let me tell you. If you ask me a question that is already answered in our free study abroad webinar, because let me show you, we have a free study abroad webinar, okay? We have a free study abroad webinar, let me show you. We have a free study abroad webinar at www.vantagemigration.ca, okay? You can take a screenshot, you can take a screenshot. We have a free study abroad webinar at www.vantagemigration.ca have you taken the screenshots because i'm going to take i'm going to flip the camera in just one minute www.vantagemigration.ca we have a free webinar there i always do that because when i do it like this it will, it will flip okay so we have a free webinar at or uh, at that, that our website so if you ask me a question that is already answered there. I'm just going to answer it briefly and I'm still going to refer you to the webinar. Okay? Because the webinar is our information gold standard. Let me put it that way. It's our information gold standard. You want to know how it works? How exactly does study abroad work? Blah, blah, blah. Attend the free webinar. You hit it. You hit the nail on the head. All right? So now, we are, I, what, what I was doing before is what we call housekeeping. All right? So before you start talking out the talk Woo! this that that it's always good to do that housekeeping so that as you're with me right now you will know exactly what to expect okay it won't be surprising to you so the first question that i have brought on the screen is a question from solution kingdom and it says i just finished my national diploma as a part-time student can i continue my studies in canada Oh, yes. Yes, you can continue your studies in Canada. So, this person has a national diploma and they're thinking of continuing their studies in Canada. 100% for sure, you can continue your studies in Canada, okay? Now, for him that has national diploma, what kind of program is he going to be applying for in, in uh, Canada? Hello, the person on the screen, feel free to exit the video and I'll add you again because I can't hear you. Exit the video and I will add you again. Thank you. All right. So, uh, the person that has national diploma, you can do programs. It depends on, it depends on what you study. So, let's, you just put national diploma here. Okay. You can do, um, go to course that I would prefer that you do is advanced diploma in Canada. So, you can do advanced diploma. All right. Uh, so, with your advanced diploma, you can get a job or uh, any other thing. And most times, the advanced diploma is likely to be two years or three years. Also, you can use your national diploma to get a BSc direct. That is also another good course that you can do. So you can do a BSc or you can do an advanced diploma. These two options are good options for you. Now, something you need to know is that if you have an ND, just like uh, Solution Kingdom, if you have an ND, uh, that's national diploma, right? If you have an ND, and you want to study in Canada, one thing I want to let you know is that advantage migration will not be able to work with you. Why? Why is that, why is that the case? If you're watching me now, why do you think that's the case? Because advantage migration, we work with graduates only. Uh -huh, right? I said it earlier. We work with graduates only. So, solution kingdom, yes, you can travel abroad. Yes, you can study in Canada. But advantage migration work with university graduates only, which is people that have minimum JCND or minimum BSc. So 
that's very that's very good so keep it up the next question says uh this is from empress empress said empress faithfully okay empress on the sword faithfully said, is it possible to get a scholarship and travel to canada when pregnant oh preggy preggy <laughs> thanks how are you well congratulations on your pregnancy okay now, for a mom who is pregnant, can you get admission and travel to Canada? The answer is, ah, you guessed right. The answer is yes. <laughs> the answer is yes. But let me tear that question into different places for you. It's one of two things. Empress is probably currently pregnant, looking to go to Canada. Let me tell you something to keep in mind. If you are looking to migrate to Canada, you are going to through the study abroad route, you're going to be, uh, should I say, put it this way, you're going to be budgeting eight to 12 months for your, for your trip, for, for the preparation, from getting admission to getting visa to getting, uh, you have to travel. You're going to be preparing eight months minimum. <laughs> We've had somebody do it in five months, okay? But trust me, that's like an exceptional case because of when the person started. But on the average, you want to plan for eight months. Chances are that you are already more than one month pregnant, right? Chances are that. What that means is that if you start now to start preparing through your study abroad, you're likely going to give birth before you're able to travel. You see? So you may be worried, oh, how will I give birth in Canada? But you starting now, you're probably going to even give birth where you are before you travel. Okay, except you are not pregnant already, but you are thinking of getting pregnant, but you're also thinking of starting your study abroad journey, which you are now wondering, oh, if you're pregnant, would they allow you to travel? 100% yes. But if you're already pregnant, let's imagine you are six months pregnant. Six months on top of six months, your child is already probably another six months. You see? So you don't even need the worry that you're having right now. So even though we can talk about pregnancy as a unit, Depending on whether you are pregnant, how many months pregnant, uh, pregnant you are, and all those factors, you will see that at the point when you are ready to go to Canada, if you start today, everybody, different mothers will be in different situations, right? For some people, they, at that point, they're just four months pregnant. For some other people, at that point, they just gave birth, or they're just due. For some other people, they've already given birth, their child is already five months or four months old. You see, and these mothers, their situation differ. This is the place where I'm going to say, if you have a specific condition, which I don't expect you to tell me right now on live section, you have a specific condition, specifically if you, are, if you become an advantage migration student, we will be here with you all the way. We'll be here with you all the way. That means that when your bouncing baby arrives, whether it's a bouncing baby boy, a bouncing baby girl, and other identical twins, meaning a boy and a girl maybe, or an identical twins, two boys, two girls, whatever the case may be, we will be here to guide you. If need arise, you can defy your admission. If need arise, you can, you, can, you can move things. Really, when you understand how study abroad works, you see that, like, you know, you're no longer so worried because whatever comes, it can be sorted. All right? So, Vantage Migration is here for you. Think of the name, Vantage advantage huh meaning we are your advantage so don't worry about that don't don't, don't stress hey, hey. you're pregnant don't stress don't stress so we don't want your blood pressure rising all right all right so empress faithfully i hope i answered your question eh the next question is from emmanuel and he said is it possible to take your family to canada on study visa i have admission already and what are the prerequisites maybe as what he's saying yes it's possible to uh travel abroad with your family and as i always say study abroad is the fastest easiest and most reliable way for you to relocate abroad and yes you can travel with family now you said you have admission already let me see the whole of that question you have admission already and what are the reasons to give them taking family along with your sop okay this is where you see that you need consultation let me let me explain to you why you need consultation your family your bank account, or whether you have scholarship, or whether you have study loan, um, how many children you have, what your wife does, what you do, where 
you are going to study, the admission you got, there are over 12 factors that can, that can skew whatever you have to do. For example, the advice I'll give to you now, versus the advice I'll give to somebody going on study, through study loan, versus the advice I'll give to somebody going through scholarship, versus the advice I'll give to three years, or somebody with a family of three, a family of six, they are all going to be different. This is where training comes in. So, uh, Emmanuel, instead of uh, you ask, looking for breadcrumbs of question, like question and answer, I advise you to attend our study abroad webinar. I know you told me you've gotten admission, but trust me, what, getting admission is like one-tenth of the journey you have to go through. Do you even, is the admission, the, is it in a program of best suit for you? There are so many things. So, get trained. That's your best bet. Or you just be doing tumbom, 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 several failure, gathering visa denial for yourself. And I don't wish for that for you, but you know, wishes are like breeze. Advice is better. I don't wish, get trained so that you know exactly what to do because obviously within a twinkle of an eye, you can see that your question is complicated. Okay, because there are other factors I will need in order to advise you correctly. It's not a blanket statement. Uh, what, what should I tell them? What you tell them to, for the reason for you to go abroad depends on what is actually happening. Right? So everybody's story is not going to be the same. The school you are going to, the place, the, everything is different for each individual student. So the advice is not a blanket advice. If you see anybody throwing out blanket advice for that kind of a thing, you should actually be wary. Okay? Now, let's look at the next question. Uh, someone said, let me see. Good. Question is on the screen. <laughs> He screamed Gucci, said, what is the fastest way to migrate to Canada? Study abroad. Hey, I've already answered that question. Study abroad. Me, I'm looking for who is going to make a bet with me. And I put out the bet. I'm looking for who will counter the bet. $10,000, let us prove it. Study abroad is the fastest, easiest, and shortest way to relocate abroad right now. $10,000, as a bet, counter it and prove me wrong. And prove me wrong, seriously. And you eat my money. <laughs> now, the, the person said, as a nurse, that adds to me. So, I'm still going to say study abroad because unlike uh, a, a place like UK or US that have some nursing programs that can bring you as like a work, as a, as a nurse who is coming to work, right? Like as a worker, Canada is a bit different. They are still working on it, oh. The, the, at least, as of the day I'm making this video, if it's a recorded video you are watching, you have to confirm again because of the timing, right? Anything may have happened during the period since I recorded this video. But as of the time I'm doing this video live right now, if you're watching me live. <laughs> so, it's difficult to just go direct, like get direct work. But a lot of nurses are here. A lot of nurses are relocating, right? A lot of nurses are relocating. And how are they doing it? Exactly how they are doing it is by getting admission and traveling to Canada. Then while you are in Canada, you can write any, you can write any board exam that you need to write in order to begin to practice. Preferably, if you are thinking of practicing as a nurse, you want to take a program you know, an eight months program, one year program, or as the case may be, that we build you towards the practice that you're looking for. Okay, somebody said, I have a master's. This is from Ama Adiva. Um, I'm a diva. Oh, I see. I have a master's degree, but I would like to pursue a foreign master's degree. How do I go about it? Okay, that's totally doable. So, some people have master's and they want to do another program. Let me even say that when you have masters, if you want to do another program, it's not 100% uh, all the time that you're going to have to do another masters. You can do a PhD. You can do another masters. You can also do like a PGD. But, you know, you have to be just careful when you're choosing. So for you now, for example, that have masters, can you do another masters abroad? Yes. So 
I'm going to send you to somewhere. I need you to attend our webinar because it's going to save you. How? Because you have a, a master's already, you are at risk. Because you have a master's already and you are going for another master's, you are at risk. At risk of what? Visa denial. Except to do some certain things. Right? Okay, those things you are going to have to do. There are not things I can tell you on this screen. <laughs> I wish I could. You are at risk of visa denial except to do some certain things. I'm telling you, take my word for it or you know, you know how far. So, you attend our attend our free webinar at www.vantagemigration.ca Take a screenshot. I may give you can take a screenshot. www.vantagemigration.ca So, let me show you. Once you finish once you finish the webinar, once you finish the webinar, chat us inbox on Instagram. Take a look. Once you finish the webinar, chat us inbox on Instagram at Dr. Linda Iheme, okay? With your specific question, I'm a diva. I'll be able to answer your specific question. But for me to even answer your question, you need to complete the webinar first. All right? So, please, attend the webinar, chat me inbox on Instagram. I'll be able to answer you. All right? Run off to just go and apply for another master's if you have not already done so. Don't run off, okay? <laughs> Someone said, uh, this is from Adiola, thank you. Adiola said, please, if I finish my master's in UK, I want to enter Canada for my PhD, is there any advantage? The answer is yes. And let me explain the advantage. The advantage for you is that you would have had the opportunity to do extra research, extra research than you probably would have done in your home country. Plus, because you are doing the master's in the UK, okay, your master's in the UK is going to be one year. Do you know that even a lot of master's in Canada are two years? Like 90% of master's in Canada are two years, but in the UK, they are one year. So, by attending, uh, by attending your master's in UK, you'll be able to finish your master's in one year. You'll be able to have the opportunity to do extra research. And this will put you in a better position for your PhD application. Hey, wait. Let me, let, let me reverse. Let me reverse, but let me summarize. When you're applying, when you're studying abroad, they tend to go extra mile with research, at least compared to uh, schools in low-income countries. So this is the extra advantage. You can let the admission committee know so much about what you have done and this will put you in a better position compared to if you have not done your master's in the UK. So if you are going for PhD and you did your master's in the UK, is there any advantage? Yes. That research advantage. Make sure, make sure, make sure the admission committees, uh, uh, admission committee members get to know more about you. That's just what I have to say. So I hope I answered your question. If I did not answer your question, feel free to write me again uh, and I'll be happy to do so. Or you can, you know what I always say, the easiest way to get me to respond to your question personally is what? To ask me inbox at Dr. Linda Iheme. If you just ask me inbox, it's easier for me to respond to your question. So the, even if I don't answer it very well here, please uh, chat inbox. Rarenira said, I pitch in the holder do master straight in Canada, but PGD. Is it true I must go for PG certificate before I will go for P PGD? No. PG certificate, that's postgraduate certificate and postgraduate diploma are considered equal. Well, if you ask me to choose one, I'm going to choose postgraduate diploma, right? But that's my personal preference. That's my personal preference. But two of them are considered as part. So, if you have HND, you can apply for postgraduate diploma direct in Canada. You, some people make the mistake of thinking that they have to do the PGD in their home country and they apply for master's in Canada. No, you can apply for the PGD in Canada. If you have done your HND and you have done your postgraduate diploma, that is your PGD in your home country, you can apply for master's direct in Canada. Okay? Now, if you have just HND at your highest level of education, 
You can apply for master's direct in UK and you can apply for master's direct in US. This, at least, these two countries are the places for sure you can get master's direct. Let me use this opportunity to explain to you that at Vantage Migration, all right, at Vantage Migration, we actually assist people or professionals or graduates who are relocating abroad through the study abroad route to any high income country. Whether you're going to US, UK, Australia, Canada, New Zealand, Poland, go to Turkey, you see the way my face is, Ireland, what you call Ireland. <laughs> I, so those are good places to go. So irrespective of what you are looking at, um, irrespective of the high income country you want to go to, we assist you. Ah, this question is very similar to the question I answered before. Let me see it. Let me bring it up. This question is similar to the question I answered before. You see, like, I knew I was clarifying before this question, but let me read out the question. The question says, how, how can I get a scholarship in Ireland? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> how can I get a scholarship in Ireland? Good. So, the truth is that for you to get a scholarship in Ireland, it is not different from how you're going to get a scholarship in Canada. It is not different from how you're going to get a scholarship in US. It is not different from how you're going to get a scholarship in Australia. Okay? It is not different. It is not different. So, one thing I would like you to do is to attend our free webinar so that you will see exactly... Let me show you. So that you will see exactly how to... Uh, secure admission abroad okay whether you're going and now let me tell you you may have the idea that yes so oh, yes yes you want to go to ireland but when you get trained you may see other easier opportunities for yourself okay go to www.advantagemigration.ca you can take a screenshot of this okay www.advantagemigration.ca to attend our free webinar so I see other people, that's what usually happens. So that's why I keep correcting. When somebody says, can I get a scholarship in Ireland? Another person will say, can I get a scholarship in Australia? Another person will say, can I get a scholarship in US? Can I get a scholarship in Canada? What of Finland? What of France? What of Poland? What of, what of, what of? The thing is that all high income countries with just a little bit of variation, the scholarship principles are the same. And that is what you are going to learn more uh, when you attend our free webinar. And if you have already attended our free webinar, what did I say? If you have already attended our free webinar, chat us on Instagram at Dr. Linda Iheme. That is just the way for you to get personalized answers to your question. Okay? But the favor said, I would like to study abroad. So how do I go about it, getting a scholarship with a 2-2? Oh, oh, first of all, let me say, there is this notion that if you have a low grade, scholarship is not for you. It is not true. It is not true. There are different types of scholarships, and there are a lot of them that are not dependent on your grade. All right? Take my word for it. So can you get scholarship with a 2-2? Yes. In fact, I've seen people that were able to apply some creativity and negotiation. Like, for example, somebody got a scholarship that was just covering tuition. And with negotiation, they're able to also get another scholarship that will cover their living expenses. They were able to do that and they had two, two. Two, two. Two, two. Right? So, and this particular person got, got it in U.S., for example. So, there are, there are uh, so many, there are so many, um, how do I put it, so many other scholarships that are not really the ones that are reserved for people with first class only. So if you have a 2-2, two -two, you have a third class, scholarship is not something that is not for you. It is for you. Okay? Now, having said that, if you want to start your study abroad journey, the best way to do it is what? You have to go for our free webinar at 
www.vantagemigration.ca. That is where we teach you the how. Think about it. When you say, how will I get it? If, imagine I say, how will you get it? Okay, you go to the school portal, you open it, you, you apply. If I finish saying it, can you implement it? No. You cannot implement, you can shake your head now that yes, you, you implement it, but in reality, you can't implement it. So when it enters, how will you do it? We teach you the step-by-step -step process. And how to get started is by attending our free webinar at www.vantagemigration.ca. It's important. All right, so favor. I hope I answered your question. So what is it? How do I go to Canada? How do I go about Canada scholarship, please? I mean, I'm an undergraduate study. Oh, thank you, Nexus brother. So the thing is that when it comes to scholarship and undergraduate, like scholarship and undergraduate programs is tricky it's tricky it's not straightforward like the ones for graduates so specifically vantage migration does not handle scholarship for undergraduates we work with graduates professionals for them to be able to secure scholarship study loan and anything they need to successfully relocate abroad we do not handle undergraduates but I have something for you. If you are undergraduates, all right? If you are undergraduates, we, we recently launched an undergraduate scholarship. Go to, go to www.drlindahemet.com. www.drlindahemet.com. Take a screenshot. Take a screenshot now. www.drlindahemet.com. Go there. You are going to see the link you're going to see how to apply for undergraduate scholarship so i am giving scholarship to oh my sweet undergraduates May we? yeah go and apply for the graduate scholarship on www.drlindahemet.com all right and you may win but as vantage migration we do not offer we do not work with undergraduates relocating abroad okay Take care. I know some, some undergraduates follow me. That's why, like for me, that was why I actually created the undergraduate scholarship, right? So that we can, it's like for a long time we kept saying, we don't work with undergraduate, we don't work with undergraduate. But we noticed that a lot of undergraduates have stayed with us. So we just decided that let's do something to benefit undergraduates too. Go and apply for that scholarship, okay? Go and apply for it. It will help you. Someone said, can a newly married lady travel to canada through study abroad i think that's what she wanted to say <laughs> i'm a mind reader she said true true travel abroad but yeah i know it's true study abroad true study abroad and take her husband along hundred percent yes you can this is the kind of things you are telling people to do <laughs> yes you if you are married you can travel with your spouse you can travel with your spouse so let me tell you something else, okay? Specifically, I've made a lot of videos about this topic, married people traveling, traveling with your spouse, even people that, oh, your spouse is there, you're looking for how to go, you don't know how to go. You can go through study abroad, right? Study abroad is very good for married people. Very, very good, like, oh! <laughs> Extremely very good for married people. <laughs> how do I stress it? Oh, married people, <laughs> study abroad is very good for you. So, go to my um, YouTube today. Check, scroll. You are going to see like um, you are going to see like uh, free videos. When I say free, some people might say free. No, videos that are extremely detailed. Let me tell you a funny story. That so funny and sad. One time I sent I uh, somebody was asking me a question and i was like oh i've already answered this video this question in a detailed video for, like in a 20 to 30 minutes um video and i sent it to the guy the guy said so you want me to watch your youtube video so that you'll be getting youtube views i was shocked guy you don't even worry say you won't get solution to your problem you don't worry about who they get youtube views and who do they get my dear, it's I am your. Let me pin this. Okay, let me see if I can pin it. 
pin comments. Good. So thank you, Paris, for typing that out. So um, YouTube, my YouTube handle is Dr. Linda Iheme TV. Okay, written together, Dr. Linda Iheme TV. So you can do youtubecom slash Dr. Linda Iheme then add TV on it. That's my YouTube handle. YouTube.com slash so Dr. Linda Iheme TV. My dear, you'll be amazed. Right now, we have more than 450 videos. Hey, 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 did you hear me? Are you sure you heard? Mm -mm, talk again. I know you want to hear. More than 450 videos. And if you go there, every, it's like, see, my YouTube video is like, have you eaten assorted meat soup before? You know that soup they call assorted? Like, they cook it with assorted meat. Have you eaten it before? You see, you see Oporoko here. You see uh, Shaki here. You will see, you will see different, different things. You see power. You see, that's how my YouTube is for anybody wanting to study abroad. Go to Dr. Linda Eme TV. Go to Dr. Linda Eme TV on YouTube. Bet yourself with my video. If you stop my YouTube for one week, your life will change. I, I challenge you. Stay on my YouTube. Watch the free videos. And by the way, as you are there, you won't see any ad. Some people that think that when people send you to YouTube, it's so that they can, you can hit on ad and then they get paid. Lame thinking. But because of this lame thinking, I decided not to monetize my YouTube. All right? Go to my YouTube. You will watch video from A to Z. You will not see any ads, number one. Number two, <laughs> it's not as if people putting ad is bad, though. That's not the point. That's not the point. I'm just saying that it is ad-free. So watch, 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 watch. Right? What? Oh, somebody gave me the correct name. John Bra Bravo. John Bravo said white soup. It's called white soup. You know that assorted meat soup. That's how my YouTube is. Meat everywhere. You go watch, you go tired. I, I bet. Pinky promise, I bet with you. You go watch, you go tired. So this lady that is asking about married lady, do you know there is a specific video where we're talking about a lady who relocated abroad with her husband and they just got married. In fact, the sweet part is that she cut her wedding budget just to accommodate her travel abroad. And she, she traveled with her husband. So what you're asking has been done before by one of Vantage Migration students. One of Vantage Migration students. What you're asking for has been done before. Go to YouTube, search for that video. Scroll, scroll, you see. Search for that video. Bless your soul. Bless yourself. So that you know exactly what to do next, okay? Um, let's see. Next question. Next question. Next question. Somebody said, can I get permanent residency in Canada? Even though I got into Canada through study abroad. Yes. Yes. <sighs> can I tell you the secret? That's exactly what I did. <laughs> okay, Papi not hear that. Nobody should hear that one. <laughs> that thing I said now is not for you. I said it only for Olubumi. It's not for you. Close your ears. That's exactly what I did. <laughs> when I say that study abroad is the easiest, fastest, and surest way to relocate abroad, what do you think I was talking about? I'm saying that other things you may consider, whether you just want to get work experience and come back to your country, or you just want to study, get a new degree and come back to your country, or you want to stay here permanently, all of them are possible with study abroad. Hey, somebody said, I heard you. Please, oh, you'd not hear me. You'd not hear me. Oh. I was doing like this. That's off camera. Seriously. I was supposed to hear what <laughs> See how these people telling me that you'd not hear me. Oh. It's not me. I did not say such a thing. <laughs> See, 100% possible. Bumi, 100% possible. So, <clears throat> let's see. More questions. Let's see more questions. Somebody said something. <clears throat> Somebody said, I live in Dubai. Can I get scholarship in Sweden easily? I don't want to say easily. No. 
That's not the point. The fact that you live in Dubai does not really have any role to play in whether you get scholarship or not. I don't know how you guys come up with this question because sometimes when you come up with questions, it just looks hard. But sometimes some of the things you've added to the question, they're like ingredients that they're not really adding to the taste of the food. Do you get what I mean? You live in Dubai does not affect whether you get scholarship or not. One. Can I get scholarship in Sweden? Yes. Can I get scholarship in Sweden easily? What does it really mean? Easily, what does it mean? For scholarship, depending on the type of scholarship, you may need to apply or not apply, depending on the type of scholarship. Whatever the process for the scholarship is, that's exactly what you're going to do. So there's nothing like getting scholarship easily or getting scholarship hard. Getting scholarship is getting scholarship. The fact that you live in Dubai does not add to the hardness of you getting scholarship, does not make it easier. So, in summary, your question is, can I get scholarship in Sweden? And the answer is yes. What should you do if you want to do that? You can actually start by attending our free webinar at www.vantagemigration.ca, okay? Free webinar at www.vantagemigration.ca. And you will be able to see all the, all the details and exactly what to do next. And as I always say, if you finish the webinar and you still have questions that you want me to answer for you, feel free, bring it on. Just chat me up on Instagram, okay? Chat me up on Instagram at Dr. Linda Iheme. That's it. Chat me up on Instagram. I do not say come and comment on my Instagram page. I will not answer your comments on a normal day. Chat me inbox and expect response within 24 hours. All right, so that's what I'm going to say. Attend the free webinar, chat me inbox if you have more questions. So someone said, I want to redo my BSc in US. I am having contemplation on IETS or SAT. The question is, why do you want to redo your BSc? That already is a dangerous move. I'm telling you, there is 80% chance you get visa denier if you are going to redo your BSA. Except there's a very, 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 very strong reason. All right? Most people wanting to redo their BSA. Redo means to do BSA again. All right? <laughs> Most people wanting to do BSA again, don't do it. Especially if you are traveling abroad. If you want to redo it in your country, good and fine. If you want to travel abroad, bad idea. You can... Apply for a PGD program in the new program you're going for, or master's in a new area or something, even if you relate to your undergrad, right? You can do some certifications and then go for master's or go for PGD in the new area. That would be the best bet. Going through BSc, yeah, you're going to end up with visa denial. However, I want you to know that at budget migration, all right, Vantage Migration, this is Vantage Migration, the company. So, at Vantage Migration, we actually train people on how to choose program of best fit so that you will know exactly the program to go for, the type of program, the names of the program. All the, you'll be able to find them by yourself. We teach you how to find them. All right, that's part of the things that we do. So, please, please, please don't go looking for uh, how to redo your BSc. You can fit, you can write SATs, write IETS, get admission, and you not get visa. And you have wasted one to two years of your life. You want to redo BSc means you're a graduate. What should you do? Focus on postgraduate studies and avoid visa denial. So he, he, he let him that have ears hear, right? That's what they said. Someone said, how is it easy to relocate to Canada? Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I have a video on this on my YouTube. How to get uh, Canada permanent residency and Canada citizenship through the study abroad route. Please do yourself a favor. <clears throat> do yourself a favor. Visit my YouTube, www.youtube.com uh, slash Dr. Linda EMA TV. Now, let me tell you a secret. When you go to YouTube, you can say, for example, Canada Permanent Residency, Dr. Linda Iheme. Like, search that on YouTube search. Canada Permanent Residency or Study Abroad and per Canada Permanent Residency, Dr. Linda Iheme. Just search it on YouTube. 
the, the videos become so you scroll you will see the you will see the videos uh with, with that particular topic that's the easiest way so check this video on youtube because i made um i think it's about an 11 10 to 11 minutes video explaining the exact process someone said can i get um can i get work permit in canada can i get work permit in canada yes however <laughs> however i advise you to go through the study abroad route because you can study and work so the way canada does it is that you're able to study and work while you're a student you work part-time and once you finish your study you're able to work full-time okay you're able to work full-time so yes you can get work permit your study permit comes with work authorization so you see instead of you going about looking for work permit work permit because to get like that clear cut canada work permit <laughs> you know what i'm saying it takes time and it's not straightforward so you can get study permit and it comes with work authorization you can work part-time while you study and when you finish your study you start working full-time that's the best for you i'm telling you because even employers they love it they lo 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 love it lo 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 lo. they love it seriously when you have a, some sort of uh, the experience study experience from that country whether it's canada whether it's us whether it's uk employers love it when you let's say you want to study in canada sorry you want to work in canada and you have studied in canada they treat you like the way they will treat let me use let me use it this way they will treat it the way they will treat citizens someone said i have a in logistics and transport management what course can i apply for my bachelor's program if you have hnd do you really want to apply for bachelor's the except you insist i will advise you to apply for pgd or for master's direct if you have hnd all right and instead of going to start bsc again because think of it bsc abroad is not being so you are most likely going, not going to get scholarship for it. You are going to pay thousands and thousands of dollars. And you are going to do it for four years. And you will not even really have... Yes, you can work and you can study and work, but you will not even really have time for work because undergraduate curriculum is so tight. Why do you want to go to BSc again? It's not the best for you. Well, I'm sure you would say to yourself, you know what is best for you. Well, but I'm an educational consultant. I'm sure you care about what I have to say to you about your decision, right? I'm sure you do. Even though you are saying, no, no, I don't care. I'm sure you do. Don't go to BSc again. Do PGD in Canada if you're coming to Canada. Or apply for master's in UK, master's in, in US. One year, you have your master's. It's like, okay, okay. All right, tell me what you think. Somebody have HMG. They can apply for master's direct in UK. Do one year, they have master's. Or they can apply to start BSc again, maybe from 200 level, if they so pity you, or from 100 level. And do three to four years to now come up with BSc. Please, which one do you think is the best advice for the person? Mwa comment. Whether you're watching it live or you're watching it as a replay, advice. Because sometimes when I'm saying it, it looks like, ah, why can't they just go to BSc? If you are this person's sister or parent and you understand how these things work, that they can actually get master's direct with your HND. We don't tell them to do master's direct one year. They are done with master's. They are flying, they are, they are, they are, they are like flying birds and peacock abroad. Or will you advise them to go start BSc again? Uh -uh. Is that how you like school? Me, I even know you don't like school. You don't like school. So, <laughs> you don't like me. See, I'm a bookworm. Go and Google me. I'm a bookworm. Google, not beside they make mouth. I know Sabi make mouth now. I know Sabi make mouth. Google my name, Dr. Lydia. I am a Google it so that you will see my academic exploits. But yet, me, I know so I don't like school like that. <laughs> so, I know say you don't like school, even if you tell me say you like school. So, why do you want to go and spend four more years? It doesn't make sense to me. So, I said, I have HND in computer engineering, upper credit. Can I go for master's directly or, uh, I think the person means, can I go for master's directly in Canada? 
if you want to go for masters directly in Canada, you're going to have a tough time getting admission. Is it impossible? No. But you may apply to 10 schools and none of them will give you admission. Like, it is tough. So, if you're going to Canada, I advise you to apply for PGD first. With your HND, apply for PGD. But if you're going to UK um, or US, apply for masters direct. So, is that, is that for you to say, hmm, is it really that I want my master's or is it really that I want my Canada, for example? So if you say, no, I must go to Canada no matter what, then apply for PGD. If you say, no, I must do my master's no matter what, then apply for master's in UK and US. It's about strategy. You know, see, it's about strategy. It's not about, oh, I want to do my master's in Canada and I have a change. Uh -huh. Who's fault? Nobody's fault. Don't get stuck. You can be on that thing that you're saying now for two more years and you still never go anywhere. You get what I mean? You get what I mean? So instead of being stuck, it's about strategy. You at uh, Vantage Migration, okay? Strategy to move forward. We, we always say, we are your advantage. Meaning, if you are with us, you are supposed to... You're supposed to know what to do. Not that you use two years to realize it. In 30 days, you, we've cooked you, baked you, you are ready to go. Yeah, of course, your mind goes a beat. But we'll push you out, say, jump, move, go, 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 go. Then, boom, you jump. Your wings will open up and you see yourself flying like a bear. You'll be shocked. Many of our students advantage migration. Please, uh, yeah, one moment. Many of our students at Vantage Migration are also surprised when they start getting admissions, start getting scholarships, start getting the Doctor Linda, I never knew I could do this. Yes, how are you going to know? There's, there's no way for you to know now that you could do it, right? But now you're doing it. <laughs> so that's what we do at Vantage Migration. This is what we do all day, all day, all day. So you can imagine. And if you want to see our success story, Check our videos on YouTube, on uh, Facebook, sorry, on Instagram. Check our videos. You will see, even as of when I'm making this video, yesterday I interviewed someone. Check, just check some of the videos. You're going to see, you're going to see lots of testimonial videos from people that have worked with us and they've traveled. Not be mouth. I don't even get mouth. I don't get mouth. Because if I was to blow our trumpet, hey, where is my Venezuela? Hey, hey, don't go anywhere. You think I don't have trumpets? Because if I'm to blow a trumpet, eh? If I'm to blow a trumpet, you go shock. <laughs> if I'm to blow our trumpet, advantage migration. If I'm to blow our, our trumpet, advantage migration, you go shock. You go shock. You go shock, oh. I don't even use to blow trumpets. Just quietly, quietly. You see me so as I simple. Quietly, quietly check our videos and see for yourself. I, I don't talk too much. If it is that they talk too much, that's because you don't know our results. If you know our results, you say, ah, is, is that why she's, and she's this quiet, she's not a shouter. Now let's go talk. <laughs> so, you see, you see, I get trumpets to blow. have their rules and regulation. Why is Canada study abroad taking long? It's not taking long. They would actually tell you how long it's going to take, right? And of course, one of the reasons it's, it's longer than necessary is because there are lots of people are planning to go to Canada. You're not the only one, right? So they have to answer everybody one after the other without mistake and all those things. However, Canada study visa, for example, takes about, for, 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 let's say for a Nigerian or if you're in Ghana, it takes a little bit shorter. But let's say if you're from Nigeria, to take about three to four months. Standard, three to four months. So you have to plan for that. That's why some people, they will come and meet me. Ha, Dr. Linda, I want to travel next month. I'm not there. Hmm? I want to travel next month. Can I start? And then, two, two, 
two weeks, I will be on the flight going. Mm -mm, no. you, that is not how it works. Do you want to teleport? Mm -mm. If you are looking for magician, I'm not the one. You miss road. <laughs> you did you know what I mean? Canada study visa takes time. You want to budget 12, uh, 8 months to 12 months. That's what you want to budget. If you are budgeting anything less, if it happens anything less, that's okay. When I mean 12, uh, um, 8 months to 12 months, I don't mean for the visa alone. I mean for you to get trained, apply for admission, get it, apply for visa. This alone, after you have submitted, will take 3 to 4 months. So when you come and meet me, that you want to travel next month, what are you trying to tell me? Is either you are looking for somebody that will scam you, or you are asking me to be a magician, which I'm not. I wish I was. So, you know those magicians, you just like, -da! the world will just appear like this. Go good though. I'll just be going like queen mother. I'll just, anywhere you see, I'll just swipe my, swipe whatever, my magic wand. Woo! And you, you will just be in Canada. Oh, we'll just be like this. Woo! I did buy you, we'll just be in UK. Go good though. Hey! I'll just like, phew, 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 phew. You'll just see yourself in US. Now you are so I'm not a magician. I wish I was. Ah. Even God knows why I don't make me a magician because I'm sure everybody could don't enjoy now. <laughs> so that's not how it works. Planning this process. But what do we do? Advantage migration. We show you the step by step, step by step method of getting your dream achieved. It's not the power method. Send me document, the next day I send you visa. That is not how it works. If that's what you're looking for, you're in the wrong place. You're in the wrong place, oh. Is that what you're looking for? Send me document, tomorrow I send you visa. Is that what you're looking for? That, you know, even you know inside your heart, it doesn't work like that. Right? We train you on the step-by-step -step process. We follow due process here. That is why, and I, I'm not surprised. Because we follow due process, our method works. Because we follow due process, our method works. But it must be still those today, tomorrow, send the document. That's how, after you send the money now, you'll be calling two years, they've not answered your call again. Even though they were supposed to send you visa the next day. Hmm? So be careful what you ask for. All right. So thank you so much for staying with me. From the beginning to the end. And if you joined late, make sure you watch the entire video. And if you're watching this as a replay, don't worry. You've already watched everything. All right? Thank you. Let me ask you. Did you enjoy today's session? Did you enjoy today's session? Let me tell you. So if you want to ask me more questions, okay? Because I know that some people will be like, Dr. Linda, I have a question for you, but I don't want people to see it. Or, Dr. Linda, I have a question for you, but I don't know if you'll be able to answer it. Or, the question is a little bit complicated. Or, this, or that, or that. All right? So, so if you want to do that, what you're going to do is just send me an inbox message at Dr. Linda Iheme. Send me an inbox message at Dr. Linda Iheme. Okay? And... I will be able to answer your questions. But mind you, if you send me a question that I already know is answered in our free webinar, you know the free webinar link, huh? This is the free webinar link. If you, if you send me a question that is already answered in our free webinar link, I'm going to send you back to the free webinar first. So to save you time and save me time and save you stress and save me stress and make sure that you smile and make sure that I smile, please, Start by attending our free webinar at www.vantagemigration.ca. After attending the webinar, okay? After attending the webinar, if you have more questions, then feel free to chat me up inbox, not to come and comment. Hello? Not to come and comment on my page. If you comment on my page, I'll just see you as a passerby and we'll treat you how passerbys are treated. I can just wave. I can just click love. I can just click... Do you know what I mean? If you comment, I'll treat you like a passerby. If you have serious questions, you chat me in box and expect response within 24 hours. Some people, they'll be chatting you. Even, even as I'm live now, doing this video, except for watching recording. Even as I'm live doing this video, they'll be chatting me now, now, now and they'll be expecting response. Now, now, now. I'm like, whoa. 
Here you saw that I was online and you still were expecting response. Nah, 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 nah. So when you chat, you give me 24 hours, right? Myself or any of my team members will respond to you within 24 hours. But chatting me inbox on, uh, on Instagram at Dr. Linda Iheme is the best way to contact me. Okay? So, take good care of yourself. Now, I have an assignment for you. You, especially for people that have attended our free webinar before, or just before you head out, tag somebody to this video. I'm going to be posting it. Uh, uh, if you're watching it as a replay, then it's already posted. If you're watching it live, I'm going to be posting it in one minute, right? Tag somebody to this video and ask them to watch this question and answer. It will just help them. All right? Take good care of yourself. Remember, remember, the next thing I expect you to do if you have more questions is what? Go to www.advantagemigration.ca Attend the free webinar is well detailed and has the answers to all the questions you've been asking. And then, if there are more questions left, chat me inbox. Right now, I'm going to be telling you bye-bye Why I continue with my what is this called? What's this called? What's this called? What is this called? Type. What is this called? <laughs> what is this called? It's called a vuvuzela. It's called a vuvuzela, okay? So I keep it here in case I need to. <laughs> in case I need to blow my trumpet, huh? So because they say if you don't blow your trumpet, if you don't blow your trumpet, somebody will not blow it for you. It will just rust. I'm telling you so. I always love to do it. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I always love to blow my trumpet when I can. I don't blow it enough, but even my own is rusty. Hmm? All right, take care of yourself.